Hello and welcome. Thank you for joining me today as I talk about makeup. This is my personal story. Take it as such. I think everybody has their own relationship with makeup, and this is just mine. People often ask me why I don't wear makeup, and there's a few reasons for that. When I first started transition, I did wear makeup. Um, of course, before I actually came out officially, I was living my life on femme at nighttime. And when I was living out at nighttime, I was, you know, going to the club, I was doing things that kind of, to me, it felt more appropriate to wear some more significant makeup. But I was never really heavy duty, you know? I think I never really went past eyeliner, and eyeshadow, and lipstick. And I could never do mascara because um, it's just way too uncomfortable for me. I can't stand to have my eyelashes all glued up. Don't know how people do it, honestly. You know, I don't want to be perceived as somebody who has to wear makeup in order to have self-confidence. I know there are lots of people who feel like for a woman to have self-respect, they need to fit into a certain mold. And that is something that is cis normativity that often gets put on trans people. They expect trans people to behave in a cis normative fashion, but frequently we are somewhere in the middle. We are not your average girly girl. We are not your macho man. We are, we are the blur between the poles, kind of. And it's really a kaleidoscope of many kinds of gender expressions. Trying to put a cisgender filter on a transgender person will always limit them. You'll never see the true person there because they are not... they're just not the same. I see this with uh, insurance companies who say that you know, you can only have facial feminization surgery if you're going to have bottom surgery. And one thing for one person does not work for all people. In transition, I realized that really, I don't feel like I need a lot of makeup. I feel like I look better without makeup. If you're having fun with the makeup, fantastic. Enjoy it. You should have fun with it. For me, I don't want to be exposed to those chemicals in most of the time. Anything that you wouldn't want to eat, you don't really want to put on your skin because your skin can absorb all of that. I figure a little bit of exposure I can handle, but wearing that makeup all the time, oh my goodness, I don't think I could do it. As a trans woman, I have had to work very hard to be seen as my true self, and wearing makeup is something that seems kind of antithetical to being seen as my true self. I want people to realize that what they see is truly me, and I'm not trying to cover up anything and be what I'm not. Now, I mean, sometimes makeup is great. I think if makeup makes you feel more truly yourself, go for it. I know some people wear makeup because they have skin problems, and to me this is like the worst thing you could do. Your skin needs to try and harmonize itself, and covering it up with makeup is only going to make it worse. Let your skin breathe. Just take care of it gently. Don't overclean it. Don't overcover it. Um, just be gentle with it. You know, nothing like hot water to clean the skin without over cleansing it. Um, I do think people go crazy on all the cleansers, but then hey, <laughs> I'm a big hippie. <laughs> so, you know, to each their own. If you are having oily skin, there's always tea tree oil, right? Look for some more natural options. You should definitely pay attention to your body if you do wear makeup, just to see how it feels on your face, how it feels in your skin. Um, you know, I couldn't wear mascara because it was driving me crazy. 
don't do that to yourself. There's really no need. You can just enjoy your natural beauty. Your skin is your largest organ, and if you're wearing chemicals on that, or anything that can be irritating, over time, that's going to affect your health. So listen to your body. Pay attention if there's ever any kinds of makeup that irritate your skin. Look at how it makes you feel on the inside, but also physically, and go from there. Makeup has not been around forever. And even when it was around, it was only kind of a social thing. When my grandmother was growing up in Missouri, back about a hundred years ago, only the only if you went into Kansas City would you find the painted ladies. And of course they were usually sex workers or very wealthy women. Makeup means different things to different people, obviously. I prefer to keep my morning face all the time. Granted, even though I am a big hippie, I am still trans, so I have had facial feminization surgery, and I feel like that is that is something permanent that is just a change to my in full body. It's not something that is just painted on and that washes off. And it's something about making my body more about who I am on the inside. Because honestly, when I look in the mirror now, it feels more like me than it ever did before. My doctor was asking me how long it took me to get used to how I looked in the mirror, and it didn't take any time at all, because I look more like me now than I did before. Uh, I don't know if that's a commonplace experience, but it certainly has been my experience. I hope this is helpful. Um, I think when you're starting off as a trans woman, it's hard to figure out some of these things. Maybe not even as a trans woman, also as a trans man, potentially, because I know there are trans men that do drag. So, um, you know, gender is a kaleidoscope, and there are all different ways to express it. And, you know, I don't think there would be gay boy, drag queen, trans men if that wasn't something they really needed to do deeply inside. We all have our place on this planet. We all have their place here to occupy, to express our beauty in this great wide kaleidoscope of world. We're not all about fitting in. We're all about being ourselves, really. And the best way you can live your life is to be yourself. So, that's my advice to you. If it feels like yourself on the inside, if it makes you happy, if you feel motivated, do it. Just go through with it. Um, you know, whether it's wearing makeup or not wearing makeup, whether it's getting surgeries or not getting surgeries, I think it's all a beautiful expression of the experimentation that we have in life. And as long as it's, it's good for you, you feel comfortable with it, then bring it on, you know? Bring it on. I hope this has been helpful to you. Um, I do hope you'll subscribe if you can, or if you feel so inclined. Um, I can really use the help in the early times of my channel. And uh, if you enjoyed this at all, please give it a like. May you be well. May you be blessed. May you be filled with unconditional love for all beings. May you care for yourself. May you nurture yourself. May you love yourself. And may you do the same for all others. If we can love ourselves unconditionally, then we can spread that love to all others unconditionally. Aloha.